action. Let's talk some more about angular momentum. So here I have regular bicycle wheel. Well, regular in the sense that it spins, but it's nice it has a little clutch here so I can get it spinning faster with my hand. And I'm going to let it go and watch what happens. It starts processing. What's going on here? It's actually very interesting. The wheel is attached here, but the center of mass is there. So you have the force of gravity pulling down, and this much distance from the rotation axis, and therefore you have torque. So the torque pulls it down. So now you have torque, and therefore you can have a change in momentum. And what's happening here, and I should say angular momentum, What's happening here is that angular momentum is being transferred from the wheel to the rope. So just like before with the bicycle wheel on the platform, as this guy starts to go downward, it causes a change in momentum downward. Therefore, in order to conserve momentum, you need a, an equal change in momentum upward for this guy, and therefore it starts spinning like this. And what's even more interesting is if you watch it a little bit, you can see the angular momentum being transferred from the wheel to the rope back to the wheel. See how it goes down, it slows down, and as it comes up, it speeds up. 